Hi carnivores, SV fam, welcome back to the channel. Let me know how you all are doing. I'd love to know where you all are located. We currently are in sunny Seattle. The summer here is gorgeous. And Steak and Butter Guy is with me because this announcement requires us two to share with you guys. Do you want to say it? You can say it. The exciting announcement is, drum roll please. <laughs> we are now All right, now we come to the actual substance of this video, the absolute worst foods you could possibly eat to destroy your health, if that's what you want. <laughs> and I have studies to back up all of the things that I state, all of the things that I share and recommend in this video down below in the description box. I'm gonna start off with the evil. Which foods are going to ruin your heart health and increase your chances of heart disease, diabetes, all of the illnesses that will cost you big bucks, possibly surgeries, and maybe even your life. Number one, sugar. Any type of sugar, especially refined sugar, is probably the worst, most damaging and detrimental food you could possibly put in your body. Processed sugar, anything with sugar is just empty calories. On top of that, it is so addicting. Have you noticed when you eat any food with sugar in it, you can always eat another bite? Have you noticed that even when you eat a proper meal and you feel truly stuffed, you can always make a little bit more room for that sugary food. It is not your fault that you feel like you can never let go of sugary foods. The foods that are so addicting, like chocolate bars, chocolate cake, chocolate this, chocolate that, cake, muffins, donuts, all of these sugary dessert foods were created to hook us and never let us go. So the reason why you feel like you really cannot function or live or be happy without these desserts, your favorite sugary foods, is because it was designed to taste so, so good to give you that dopamine hit that is comparable to the hit of pure drugs. I have linked studies down below proving that sugar is more addicting than opioid drugs like cocaine. It is too easy to treat sugar exactly like how people treat drugs overuse, abuse, and being deeply, deeply addicted. A lot of people don't even know that they are addicted to sugar. But once someone feels that emotional connection, that dopamine hit, that ability to be able to lean on sugar during times of sadness, depression, and suddenly feel this temporary joy when they eat these sugary foods, that is how you become hooked for life. Once our bodies and minds make that connection that, oh, when I eat this chocolate cake, I feel happy. When I eat this donut, I feel better about my stressful day. We start leaning on this sugary junk food to make us feel better in times of sadness. On top of that, Sugar is just empty calories. So when you eat sugary foods, cake, desserts, whatever it is, you feel like you can eat it endlessly without ever truly feeling satiated and full. This leads to sugar binging, which is why so many people start eating one piece of cake and they somehow end up eating the whole entire cake. Sugar binging is so common. And again, it's not your fault. This food was designed so you cannot stop eating it and you can't stop wanting to eat it day after day after day. So knowing all of this about sugar, I personally think that sugar is the number one most dangerous food you could possibly feed your body, not only because of the physical detriment it brings to your body, your heart and your overall health, but also how addicting it is. It messes with your mind and your emotions, making you feel like you actually need this food to function, survive, and feel happy. The second food that I really think nobody should be eating and much less paying money to buy is seed oils. What are seed oils? Seed oils include sunflower oil, grape seed oil, canola oil. I'll put a whole list of seed oils. The reason why seed oils are so dangerous is because it promotes inflammation. I still see videos on YouTube, on Instagram of 
health influencers and gurus promoting seed oils as the perfect salad dressing for anyone who wants to lose weight and get healthy. It just blows my mind how most people still don't get it. Seed oils are extremely high in omega-6s, which causes it to be so inflammatory. Seed oils are a highly processed product. It requires high, high heat and so many chemicals to even be created. And on top of that, it is rancid and oxidized. So there is nothing good, nothing beneficial about seed oils. I've linked studies down below. And the third and last category of foods that I feel like people should be avoiding like the plague is anything fried, fried foods in general. Now this encompasses so many different types of food. Anything that is deep fried in seed oils, okay? So that's like a double whammy. Not only do you get this terrible food, you also dip it in even higher heated and rancid and oxidized seed oils, you cook it in that and you call that a food? No, that is called a heart attack waiting to happen. <laughs> so anything that is deep fried or just fried in general, why? Because it is high in carbs. It is naturally going to be higher in carbs. Americans love frying carbs. Cereal, the one food that America claims to be the healthiest thing you can eat to start off your day. All of these foods are not only high in carbs and sugar, they're probably fried or cooked or processed or made in seed oils. And on top of that, nothing fresh, bioavailable, nutritious, or digestible about any of these foods. And these foods are most likely filled with tons of gluten and starch. The slew of negative symptoms that come with eating these foods that I just listed, bloat, gas, acne, skin issues, diabetes, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, extremely high triglycerides, and extremely low HDL, which by the way is the most important marker of your heart health. So if your HDL is below 70 and your triglycerides are well over 70, then you need to really reconsider what are you feeding your body that is causing your heart to be so inflamed and so unhealthy. If you are concerned about your heart health and your doctor has already given you that talk where he or she recommends you statins, there is a way to make your heart healthy again, to improve your blood work by cutting out the deadly dangerous foods and eating the right foods. These three foods are so deadly that if you stop eating them today, you will immediately feel an increase in energy, overall mood, sleep, and overall health and well-being. And speaking of prioritizing sleep, what we both have been doing every day is incorporating blue blockers to make sure we get that good sleep. So I wanted to thank today's sponsor, GlassesUSA.com, for providing their awesome blue light blocking glasses. The one that I am wearing has blue light blocking lenses, and you can also make sure your prescription is installed in these frames as well. They offer thousands of eyeglasses and sunglasses glasses from really popular brands like Ray-Ban, Gucci, Oakley, but also some very affordable brands for as low as $39, which is 70% off retail prices. The style that you're wearing is the Autoto Presto. Very sleek. I do like it on yep. you. All I can say is the fit is really nice. It's not restrictive. It's very comparable to a lot of uh, high-end designer frames. This is Autoto brand in the style Julio in brown. So for me and my face, because my hair is dark brown, Brown. I always prefer brown colored frames as opposed to black. And I go for whatever looks good and feels good. And we just put on two more different styles together. Mine is called the Atato Reverso sunglasses, again, in the color brown. It's a open frame. Is yeah, what it's open called. frame it's right open there. Frame. Morin in the color brown. Right off the bat, I really like how nice and tight they feel. Yeah. And they're sturdy yet lightweight. The main reason why I wear blue light blocking glasses every single day is to protect my eyes from the blue light in my screens. Anything that is digital has blue light in it. My eyes don't feel as dry and strained at the end of each workday. Shopping online can be fun, but it can also be very overwhelming. They have an AR virtual try on tool where you can virtually try on different frames to see how it looks on your face. It's a risk-free shopping experience with free shipping and returns and 100% money back guarantee within 14 days. GlassesUSA.com is offering an exclusive discount just for my viewers for 24 hours only. You can combine this discount with any coupons they are currently offering as long as you click on the links at the top of my description box down below. So now that we've gotten the three most dangerous foods that are obviously not carnivore 
out of the way, I wanted to address some foods that may seem like it's safe for us carnivores until you look a little closer. I will make your lives easier by showing you actual photos of ingredient lists that are clean versus not clean. Let's start with this premium deli smoked ham. If we look closely at the ingredients, we will see that this ham is not just meat. It is filled with fillers, sugars, and carbs. As you can see, anything ending with O-S-E, O-S, like dextrose, the second ingredient is pure sugar. You'll see there are a lot of preservatives, fillers like cornstarch flavoring which is made in a lab and not natural in any shape or form anything that is difficult to pronounce or impossible to pronounce has no business going into our bodies here's another cured meat product from a higher end brand and you will see that it has dextrose and pure brown sugar at the top of the ingredients list potassium lactate hydrolyzed soy protein corn syrup solids there is not only fillers soy but also syrups in this ham product this is a bacon product that almost looks clean until you get to the last ingredient it's by trader joe's so we've got pork sea salt spices fine and then we have a sunflower oil sunflower oil is absolutely a rancid and oxidized seed oil we want to avoid sunflower oil even if it is the last ingredient in the ingredients list so this product is a no here's another bacon brand that is very high-end and expensive and it has pork belly spices salt celery powder juniper berry sunflower oil and juniper berry oil so this would also be a no for me finally we come across a really good clean bacon brand this is by apple gate as you can see the ingredients are just organic pork water and less than two percent of sea salt and celery powder this is as clean as it gets and this is the type of ingredients list that we should always be looking for i actually have an entire list of clean safe carnivore friendly processed meats so this includes bacon sausage cured meats deli meats prosciuttos chorizos i have linked all of the best brands cleanest lines that you can choose and test down below in the description box. If you are interested in support and accountability as well as coaches guidance to get you started or to get you thriving on the carnivore diet, come check out the Steak and Butter Gang challenges. And this upcoming challenge month will feature an amazing lineup of guest speakers and experts, including Rebecca Heishman, Dr. Sean O'Mara, Dr. Anthony Chafee, Sarah Franklin, and Dr. Tony Hampton. All challengers will be able to submit their personal questions for each each of these guests, you will have access to the live call as well as all playbacks to the entire month's meetings and guest speaker Q&As. Come check out the Steak and Butter Gang challenges at the URL shown on the screen, sbgmeetup.com, or click the links down below in the description box. You'd be surprised at what brands sneak in something as simple as prosciutto. What it should look like is this, pork, salt, pepper. I always see many ingredients that's simply just pork and salt. But unfortunately, these days, most brands have ingredients list like this. Pork, salt, sugar, spices, garlic, sodium nitrate, sodium nitrite, smoke. So these filler ingredients are just to make the product cheaper to make. So steak and butter guy, say hi. Hello. We are driving to go pick up some groceries. It's that time of the week. Our current go-to place for our groceries is PCC. It's called PCC. It's exclusive to us Washington residents. And we're so lucky to have it because they have all local meat, eggs, produce, cheese, everything is just local. We feel good supporting local uh -huh. and we get to benefit off of high quality, delicious tasting animal foods. The taste yeah. of PCC uh, groceries compared to say Whole Foods is very different and distinct. It is very. I just wanted to announce something that's really important and kind of legendary because kind of. not kind of, this is huge. This is really big news. I already posted it in the community tab of my channel, but in case you missed it, I want to tell you guys personally and formally, verbally, that I got engaged! 
with him. I mean, who else? <laughs> he did so well with the proposal. My dreams just came true, so. Uh, yeah. I'm glad I made your dreams come true. Were you nervous leading up to the proposal? How are you feeling? Oh my God, I was so nervous. And I wasn't nervous because of what you may or may not say. Yeah. Because we, we had talked about it leading up to the event. But yes, I was nervous, extremely <laughs> nervous. And I think anyone who has proposed, proposed would be. Would it's be normal, totally normal. Nervous. This is a huge day, a yeah, moment. Just like those 10 minutes or however long the proposal is, is monumental. And it's the rest of your life. Yeah, and then I think as a girl, I I could see the amount of pressure on the guy's shoulders, you know? Oh, wow. Like to make sure that they say the right things or they say what they want to say, that they don't trip up or, or, or st stumble or stutter. All of those things do kind of like add up and I could understand that he was nervous. I mean, that's not even a good question. Was I nervous? I was so excited. In my head, I was just <laughs> thinking, gosh, finally, this is the, this is what I was waiting for, you know? So yeah, we're so happy. We are over the moon, okay? We're just not, we're not just happy. And I wanted to ask you guys a question before we go into PCC. For our honeymoon, where do you all suggest? Um, because I kind of want to plan it out a little bit. We're still planning the date for our actual wedding ceremony, but we also want to kind of start brainstorming and dreaming about where we want to go for our honeymoon. So comment down below your suggestions or just share with me, where did you go for your honeymoon? I would love to know. So this is what I pick up every time I go to my go-to grocery store, PCC. I always get mozzarella cheese. Why? Because this is Steak and Butter Guy's all-time favorite cheese. He can eat this every single day, every snack, every meal. So I always stock up on mozzarella. PCC always has coupons that you can combine with their deals. I always pick up Flink and Short Ribs. This is one of my all-time favorite carnivore meals ever, ever, ever. Just try it for yourself and your life will be changed. Chicken party wings are my go-to because they are cheap, but because they ran out of party wings, I just get chicken drumsticks. Both are less than $5.99 per pound. The cheapest you can possibly get on the carnivore diet is ground beef. So I always pick up some $4.99 per pound ground beef. Fresh pork belly is a must. I never eat bacon because it is so seasoned and heavily salted. Instead, I make my own at home. $6.49 per pound. Of course, blocks of butter I stocked up because it was on sale for $3.50 per block. I always get a ton of their pasture-raised eggs. It is the best eggs I've ever tasted. So so flavorful, so fresh, only $6.99 a dozen. There you go. That's a standard grocery haul for us. Always make your fiance carry your groceries. As always, if you have any requests for any future content ideas, video topics, or guests you would like me to invite on to my channel, feel free to also drop a comment down below letting me know what you would like to see in the future. If you guys want to get a pair of blue light blocking glasses like the one that I am wearing, GlassesUSA.com is offering an exclusive discount available for 24 four hours only. You can get all the details by clicking the links at the top of my description box below. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this amazing summer weather outside in Seattle, and I will see you in my next video. Have a beautiful rest of your day. SVG out.